All right, the big news uh, here locally is coming from the world of football as state-owned enterprise minister Eric Tohir uh, was elected as chairman of the Indonesian Football Association or locally known as PSSE. The election was held today in the extraordinary congress at Shangri-La Hotel in Jakarta and there had been several developments that happened throughout the day. One of them was Yunus Nusi who had previously garnered the second highest vote as the deputy chairperson of PSSE and he resigned from that position. So to find out the latest details, we're now going to connect with our reporter once again, Laras Ardia and video journalist Nico Arianto to find out the latest. Guys, what do you have for us? Okay, Paul. So, yes, the Extraordinary Congress of Indonesian Football Association is still underway until now at the Shangri-La Hotel Jakarta. And um, as we have known, there are some uncertainties that has been going on here, um, specifically within the Deputy Chairman of Indonesian Football Association voting process. So let me uh, here to clarify some of the information to you. So first of all, there are three main agendas that will be or that just uh, going on here at the Extraordinary um, Congress of PSSE. Um, first is the election of the chairman, the general chairman of Indonesian Football Association, which we have known, uh, which has been elected, which is uh, the state-owned enterprise minister, Eric Tohir, has been elected as the chairman of SSE. And then the second one will be the um, voting or the election of the deputy chairman of Indonesian Football Association. And firstly, the first result that came is... Um, Zainuddin Amali has the first, um, the highest number of votes, um, following by Yunus Nusi and then Ratu Tisha. But then there was some commotion inside or during the re calculation, um, uh, calculation of the voting uh, for the deputy chairman of the SSE. Uh, but we haven't, we couldn't see it because the voting or the calculation um, process is closed for us, uh, for the public. And then uh, we have known that after uh, some commotion that's just going on, the representative of FIFA and AFC decided to recalculating the vote for deputy chairman of Indonesian Football Association. And after the recalculation um, has been done, uh, the second or the latest result that we uh, get is um, Yunus Nusi the, has the second highest point or ha second highest vote. And then the first one will be Ratu Tisha. But then there is another statement from Yunus Nusi that he stated his resignation statement from his position that he just got. So we are still looking for any um, clarification, also confirmation from both um, Yunus Nusi as well as Zainuddin Amali and also the committee of the Congress or the Extraordinary Congress of Indonesian Football Association uh, because currently the voting for EXCO or Executive Committee for Indonesian Football Association is still underway. And um, after the um, EXCO um, has been elected, of course, there will be some um, press conference that uh, will inform us the final result of uh, the chairman and then the deputy chairman and also the exco member of Indonesian Football Association. So yes, that's um, within the new leadership. We really hope that this new leadership of Indonesian Football Association will bring some improvement for Indonesian football industry. Back to you, Paul.